Hi, in this lesson we're going to be talking about a suite of tools you could use that will kind of help you customize your computer and take custom actions on all types of things. It's called Microsoft Power Toys and it's made by Microsoft. And it's a free installation, so you could get it from the Microsoft Store and you could also get it on the GitHub website and maybe some other locations. But your easiest way to do it's probably just to get it from the Microsoft Store. So let's go there, search for Power Toys, all one word, and then just click on Get or Install depending on what your uh, button says there when you get to it. And then once you have it downloaded and installed, you'll have it running. You'll actually have it running down here. And then you can right click on it and go to the settings. So one thing you notice is that the settings look just like the regular program, except when you're in the regular program, you have all these topics here. And then you'll have buttons that say open settings. But I like to just use the settings section because you get the same information. And then you could change the settings right there if you need to. All right, so you have your general section here. You know, the version, if you want to change the theme, back it up, turn on experimental features, and then all your other features down here. So I'm not going to go through all of these, obviously, so I'll just kind of browse through them, then show you some examples as we go along here. Okay, so you have always on top. So if you have a window that you want to make on top of the others and always stay on top, you could do that. So here's your shortcut key. So it's on by default. So you got to make sure it's on, otherwise the shortcut key won't work. So it's Windows key, Control-T. So let's say we want this Excel spreadsheet to be on top. So Windows key, Control T, makes a little noise, puts a blue box around it. And now you can see it's on top and other things we open will stay behind it. Like that, if we want to turn it off, Windows key, Control T, and you got the noise. So one thing you need to be aware of, this one seems a little buggy, like you could see it put this border around the uh, Power Toys tool as well. And if I do Windows key, Control T again, it brings this back up. So it's just a little tricky. So you can always turn it off to get rid of it and turn it back on. That'll start it back up again. So you might want to play with that, see if you get better results than I do. Okay, then there's Awake, which is always on, which is always keep your computer awake using the selected power plan. And you could, you know, change the... Uh, settings here. So if you like to have your computer always awake, you could kind of do that in the uh, power settings as well. Color picker. This one's nice. So if you do some graphics and you want to find the exact color code from something, you could use this. So it's a uh, Windows key shift C. And you get this little arrow here and you can see as you hover over things, you get the code for the exact color. And then once you click on it, the code will be copied to your clipboard. And then you could use it, you know, in Photoshop or whatever graphics program you want to use. Crop and lock. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, you could crop a screen and make like a smaller version of it. So let me open up this Excel sheet again. Okay, let me get the shortcut here. So there's two methods, a thumbnail shortcut and a reparent shortcut. So this, depending on the app, one will work better than the other. I know for Excel, this reparent shortcut works better. So Windows key Control shift r And now I draw a box here. And now you can see I have a, like a, a little window here, a mini version of Excel that I could still work with. Not sure what the real benefit of this is. It might come in handy for some programs. Um, then you can just close it and go back to normal. All right, fancy zones. These are kind of like when you do Alt-Tab on your computer and you get the different uh, layouts and then you could actually make different zones or when you do stuff like this where you you know do a screen there and then a screen here that type of thing file locksmith this is a pretty good program here so if you have a file locked open and you're not sure what's using it let's say you're trying to delete or remove it and it says it's in use you could go to that file so let's say this spreadsheet that we have open right now, hold down shift. What's using this file? And you can see it's in use with Excel, and then you could end task if you want to kill it. It actually shows the process ID and the user and the path to the file. Okay, file explorer add-ins, I'll let you read about those because there's a lot of stuff here. You might find useful, you might not. Host file editor, so if you don't want to open the uh, text file, you know, by browsing to it and opening up a notepad, you could open up from here by clicking launch host file editor. 
and it'll give you a little warning here at the beginning, except so there's nothing in the SOS file, but you could add, add your entries and then just turn them on and off just by toggling them right there. Okay, Image Resizer, this is a great tool. It used to be a standalone tool, but now it's built into Power Toys. So if you have large uh, pictures like from your phone and you want to email them, uh, you could reduce them really easily by using this. So it has some presets, which you could edit or delete or add some new presets. But I'm not going to go into that. I'll just go to some pictures here. So let's say we want to resize this picture. Let me do the uh, details view here. Okay, so this is a little over a megabyte. So let's say you had like a 10 megabyte picture from your phone. That would be a better example, but these aren't that big. You could right click it, you know, show more options for uh, Windows 11 here, and resize pictures. And by the way, you know, in Windows 11, if you hold down shift and right click, it bypasses that show more options menu here. Then resize pictures. Here's the presets. You can do custom. Ignore the orientation. Then you could resize the original. If you check that, if you don't check that, it'll make a copy of it. So it's up to you. So I'm going to overwrite this one. Actually, I'll make a copy of it so we could compare the two. So we'll do small. All right, so it just names it small. So there's the difference in file size. So if we open the original. And then the small. You can see it reduced the file size there. I usually like to do large when I use the uh, resizer because it reduces the size plenty small and it actually kind of looks like the original still. So try out large before you try anything else out. Okay, keyboard manager. Uh, if you want to remap some of your keys, you could uh, do that. So you could check that out on your own there. Mouse utilities, enable find my mouse. So to do that, uh, left control twice. So let's say you're in a file, complicated looking document or something and you can't find your mouse. Just double control on the keyboard. And there you have it. And then just click to take it off. They could even use the mouse highlighter. So you have to, even though it's on, you have to enable it with the activation shortcut, Windows key shift H. And now when you click, it'll put a little yellow dot there every time you click somewhere. Okay, looks like I clicked off it here, so let's go back here, turn that off. Okay, mouse without borders. So this is used to control multiple devices with one mouse, but there's a bunch of setup to it. So I'm not sure if, uh, if it's something you'd be commonly using. So you could check that out on your own as well. Paste this plain text. If you want to have this enabled by default, so every time you paste, it'll be plain text instead of keeping the format from whatever document or website or whatever you're pasting from, you can turn this on and activate it with a shortcut. Then there's peak. So this will give you a preview of a document without actually opening it or a, or a photo. So let's go back to documents here. Let's try the sales, sales proposal. I got to get the shortcut though. So that's control space. So it opened it up in a preview mode, but actually didn't open the file with Acrobat, but you can open it by clicking on it right there. All right, power rename. So this is an advanced tool you could use to do bulk renames on multiple files. So you could check that out on your own as well. because it takes a little time to configure and get used to. Power toys run. Now, this is a nice way to get a run box in the middle of your screen just by pressing alt space and then just start typing so let's say word so you can see it brings up items that begin with w-o-r and you just keep typing it'll kind of help you out as you go along here you can open up command prompt you could search for go to our website like so and then when you're done just click off of it and it goes away then we have quick accent. So if you need to type accented characters, uh, you can check this out. It's off by default. Uh, registry preview. This is kind of nice if you're doing a lot of registry edits. So you just launch it. It'll kind of show you what the registry file is going to do. So 
So let me open a file here. So here's the contents of the registry file, and here's where it's going to be placing the items if we were to import it. So you could write it to the registry. Uh, you could edit it, open the registry editor, open the key, and take you right there, just like that. All right, screen ruler, if you want to measure pixels on your screen. So Windows key shift M. So you could decide if you want to draw a box and get the pixel measurements. Do like a cursor. You know, this would be, help, be helpful if you're in some kind of graphic where you want to see uh, the pixels or do a line or a vertical line like that. Let me just close it out with that. Shortcut guide. So if you want to see some shortcuts, Windows key shift forward slash. There you go. Bunch of shortcuts there. Text extractor. So this will actually copy text anywhere on the screen, which is kind of cool. So if you have text in a picture, so let me try and find a picture with some text. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the activation shortcut, Windows Shift T. Okay, let's copy this. This is just a picture with text. It's not actual text. Okay, so now let's uh, go to Word here, do new document. Paste it in. So it copies to the clipboard. Now you can paste it right in. So if you have something that doesn't have selectable text, like a PDF that was a scan or something, you could try this to see if it'll actually read the text, kind of like an OCR feature. Video conference mute. So this could be used if you're doing you know, presentations or Zoom meetings and you want to mute your microphone and webcam. Then you just have the welcome screen if you want to check that out. All right, so once again, just look for Power Toys in the Microsoft Store and install it. And then just go through all of these here. Most of them are turned on by default. So you just have to kind of get used to the shortcut keys and able to really use it. And of course, you could edit the shortcut keys if you want to customize them to make more sense to you. Mm -hmm.